married at first sight Australia fans will all remember Natalie and Collins, who were definitely not one of this season's successful couples, so what have they been up to since leaving? Natalie and Collins seemed to have lots in common when they first met at the altar, but things didn't progress well from there. The bride went on to slam groom Collins as fake, and she had real concerns about how genuine he was being. Natalie made the shocking decision to leave at the very first dinner party, but swiftly backtracked to give Collins one last chance. However, thing didn't really improve. Natalie wrote leave at the first commitment ceremony, while Collins wrote stay. Their relationship only lasted 48 hours longer, before they reportedly left for well-being reasons by the producers. The pair have since revealed they are now no longer on speaking terms. But for Natalie it's not all bad, as while she didn't find love on the show, she appears to have now met someone special, and is trying something new. Natalie told Nine about her new love interest and has stepped out of her comfort zone. She said, I have been speaking to someone special. We've known each other for years. We met when she was married and I was in a long-term relationship. I've never dated a woman before, I've been attracted to them but I've never been able to take that step into dating. She said her new partner has been an incredible support since leaving the show, and said they're going to see what happens. As for Collins, who hasn't shared any romantic updates, remained closed off about future plans, but has instead reassured people he isn't planning on starting an OnlyFans in a chat with Yahoo. My DKS too small for OnlyFans. He laughed. So yeah, Terry's no OnlyFans. The people who do OnlyFans know they've got something to offer, I don't. He then said he hopes he can build a bigger platform and profile in the hosting realm after appearing on the show. Some people do reality TV and they just think MGM is going to knock on their door and say, we want you type of thing, but I understand it is a platform, let's see how we go and see where we go. It's weird. As much as I've taken a beating, I've learned so much through it. I really have learned a lot and I can't be ignorant and just say, it's all nonsense. It's truth. It's a painful truth, but it's truth. While the show has already aired in Australia, including the reunion, there are rumors it's an explosive two-part episode, and Natalie and Collins are set to go head-to-head -head for the first time since leaving the show. Get your popcorn at the ready. Do you have a story to share? Email Neve. Kirk at reachbook.com.